What is it? It's an illusion. It's a cruel, elaborate trick conjured by the weak to inspire fear. A desperate attempt at control. Now you all parade about as if you're the divine arbiters of power in the universe. One Piece Manga Chapter 1130, let's go! The cover page shows Yamato and Tama crashed out. We see her arm reach out and steal the katana. Honestly, if you ask me, by the looks of this arm, it's gotta be Vasco shot. <laughs> Only Lucas will understand that joke, guys. Sorry. That was for you, Lucas. Stop making fun of me. Okay, the chapter starts off by showing us the Albaf Giants and the rest of the Straw Hats. Frankie and the others are telling the Giants to call off the search for the others. Super! Yeah, don't worry about the others, you guys. They're gonna be safe. They have Usopp with them. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, good old Usopp! Oh, plus, they have Nami with her. Her panties could change the heart and soul of every man that she meets. Panties that I'd like to see one day. <laughs> so they all decide, you know what? Fuck it! We out back down the bay! It cuts to Luffy and the others, walking across a long ass snowy bridge. And I'm getting some Drum Island vibes from this shit right here, this little castle right here. But they're all admiring the sight of this gargantuan tree off in the distance. They spot two giants walking toward them. They duck out of the way so they don't get spotted. Now the two giants that are walking are Goldberg and Gerd. Now this little delightful creature right here... No, not the stupid fucking owl, bro. Move the camera. Now this little delightful creature right here was formerly a S-Class rank merc for the buggy pirates along with Goldberg. Her hooter, no, not her hooters, bro. Her hooter. There you go. Her pet owl is named Piper. Now as these two are talking, they're talking about Road, their crewmate, and how big of a piece of shit he is. Gerd says that they call Loki the shame of Elbaf. But they might as well call Rode this. The Hooter informs them that Rode's owl was seen carrying a ship. And that's what these two are doing. They're on patrol to find the intruders of this land. The Straw Hats do their best to remain undetected as these two walk by. Did you hear that guys were fucking out bath bell, bitch let's go! Now we see the Straw Hats cross this massive bridge. This bridge that's originally built for giants. And at the bottom of it. We see these fucking savage looking carnivorous wolves looking at all of them like they're a bunch of snacks. And that's when Luffy gets an odd feeling. Hey yo Zoro, you feel that bro? What? Feel what dog? Feel these nuts on your chin. Ha 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 The fuck man? The fuck? Hey, no, 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 but seriously, I'm getting goosebumps, dog. Yeah, maybe because it's cold as hell, you dipshit. Nah, man, I got chills. Yeah, maybe because it's cold, you dipshit. No, 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 Zoro, listen. I got chills, and they're multiplying. I got chills, they're multiplying. And I'm losing control. Now, Luffy tells them that he heard a roar when they were in the block country a while back. And then the bastard just jumps off the damn bridge onto the fucking icy forest that has the fucking giant wolves and shit, okay? Typical Luffy. Typical, typical Luffy. Now, it cuts back to the other Straw Hats, and they find out a crap ton of bad news. Word has gotten around saying that it was them that attacked Egghead. Not only that, but Dory and Bragi's presence in the world gets announced to everybody. They're not just two giants battling it out in a forgotten land. They are deemed traitorous bastards by aiding that scoundrel Luffy. So the world government takes it upon themselves to slap them with a new bounty of 1.8 billion dollars. And to add insult on top of injury, the world is blaming Luffy for unaliving Dr. Vegapunk. Lil is right there on the side having a blast. She's like, oh shit, Luffy murked me, huh? She thinks this whole situation is kind of funny. But you know who doesn't think it's funny? Frankie. Frankie thinks it's serious business. And you know what else is serious business? That boy's outfit, man. I swear. That guy has been dripped out these last couple chapters, man. 
You know what else is serious business as well? The fact that Oda casually drops this piece of information on us right here, guys. Robin asked the crew, Hey guys, when Luffy turns into his freedom form, does he usually have that X on his arm? Like how all you dipshits had on Alabasta? Dory seems to laugh at the fact that Luffy is on the same level as Shanks now in the world. Bro's got territory, he's got a following, he's doing his damn thing. He's really becoming a force to be reckoned with, but we already knew this. They even talk about how that little whippersnapper Howard and serves under Luffy now. Which is kind of crazy considering that he's the king's son. But they also talk about the other son of the king. They say when the prince was born, he was named the accursed prince. A few years ago, he was sentenced to crucifixion. You see, there's a devil fruit that's passed down through the royal family. Turns out Loki pulled a black bear move and murked his own father to get that devil fruit. Hence why they call him the shame of Elbeth. The last panel shows Luffy walking up to a giant that's chained up. State your name. Hey, my name is Smokey D. Luffy. And you can subscribe to Grand Line Bound, baby. Your shit sucks, bro. It's not prime content. You know what I mean? That shit's garbage, dog. I only sub to good channels like... Uh, fucking... Straw Hat Lucas and Tainted Marth, that fucking goofball JJ and his crew, and uh, Andy Licks, and Kusaland, and Mac, and the Eternal Dawn. I only sub to those motherfuckers, dog. That's your lame ass shit. Fuck out of here. Damn, bro, I get it. Okay, calm down. Who are you anyway? I am the Sun God, who will bring about the end of the world. I will also bring about the end of terrible content. This is Warland, the mighty kingdom of Elbath. And we don't tolerate bullshit content like yours, dog. Damn, bro, what did I do to you?